Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Body shaming is known as criticizing or humiliating someone by making impolite comments on an individual's body shape or size. Body shaming is a subject that has been recently brought to light with the use of social media. Many celebrities and regular people alike have talked about being body shamed online. As the years go by, the problems only seem to get worse. Comments like, you should put more meat on your bones or you should go on a diet are both equally demeaning and overused. It shouldn't matter what somebody's body size or shape is to anyone as long as that person is happy and content with him or herself. Closer in the early 2000s, if somebody wasn't super thin and little, they would be made fun of and told to go on a diet or told to put the food down because they don't need it. Now we've traveled full circle and now it's all about being thick and voluptuous. Nowadays, thicker women are celebrated, especially women who are shaped like IG models. They're admired and praised while skinny and toned women are told to put more meat on their bones or get some more ass. While this has been uplifting to women on the thicker end of the spectrum, it's definitely demeaning to those on the other side. It seems as if one can't be praised without the other being knocked down. Body shaming has been tied to many different disorders like anxiety, depression, anorexia, and more. According to the National Association of Anorexia Nervosa, at least 30 million people of all ages and genders suffer from eating disorders in the U.S. And the reality is there's nothing wrong with their body. It's society picking them apart. Hello and welcome to Lovely TTV. Over the weekend, Ari Spears went viral for going in on Lizzo's weight and social media was not having it. So grab your teacups, I'm about to go ahead and break this down for y'all. Fans and fellow artists came to Lizzo's defense after the comedian made some cruel comments about the Grammy winner. Aries Spears is 47 years old and he was recently doing an interview with Art of Dialogue. They have a YouTube channel and on their channel they talk a lot about hip hop, hip hop culture, past, present, and future. So the host of this show basically asks Ari, he says, you know somebody that actually makes good music? And Aries Spears is like, who? And Art of Dialogue says Lizzo. And Aries literally gets so disgusted. And he basically says, I can't get past the fact that she looks like a shit emoji. You can't make this shit up. Literally. Yes, he went there. Y'all go ahead and check this out. Yo, you know somebody that actually made good music, man? Lizzo. Lizzo? Yeah, bro. Have you heard her shit, yo? Like, as a songwriter, yo. I, I can't get past the fact that she looks like the shit emoji. She's got a very pretty face, but she keeps showing her body off, nigga. Like, come on, man. I'm sorry. Listen, I ain't the most in shape nigga in the world, but I still, you know, when you funny and you got swagger and confidence and, and you decent looking, I think I'm at least handsome, you get pussy. But a woman that's built like a plate of mashed potatoes is in trouble. You know what kills me about women? Is is the hypocrisy and the contradiction. Yes, queen, slay queen. Yes, queen, slay. Yeah, girl, your confidence. Fuck diabetes. Fuck heart, heart, heart problems. So of course, with his video, it went viral. They were dragging him on Twitter. People were coming after him. People were not here for the foolishness. Here goes some of the response that people had to say to Aerie. Listen. I'm not going to hold y'all. Obviously, I know fat phobia is pervasive all over our society. And so people, including fat people, can internalize that fat phobia. But yo, Aries Spares is blowing fucking minds in this video, son. Like, I just, I literally was watching it in disbelief. Like, what kind of reverse body dysmorphia you have to be sitting there fat as you are with your baby teeth talking about Lizzo Oh, and diabetes and encouraging this and celebrating this. Yo, jealousy is powerful. You know, I was like, yo, this is really jealousy. I'm like, yo, you have been fat. I have been watching Aries Spares comedy for my C 15 years. The man been doing it for longer than that. He been fat in every video. He's always been fat. And he's never, his argument has never been that we shouldn't celebrate him because he's fat or his comedy. So 
What is this really about? All right, so you guys just saw the response of people going in on Aries Spears. So, of course, Aries had to clap back in typical style. He went in on the Lizzo fans, and he also clapped back in Michael Epps as well. So, y'all go ahead and check this out. You won't break my you won't break Yo, what up? It's your boy, Aries Spears. I had to put the Yankee on for this one. Listen, I know I'm trending right now because of the Lizzo joke. And I just want to say, man, some a lot of you women are funny, you know, with the critiques. I ain't funny. I'm fat, unattractive. No woman wants me. They always try to hurt you with what works for you the most. That's what they try to hurt. That's like you break up and you go, that's why you got a little wee-wee and you can't screw. But you've been with them for years. I'm 32 years in this game and I ain't funny. I'm 32 years in this game and I ain't never got no meow. That's hilarious. Y'all don't deal in logic and sense. You deal in emotion and anger. Come with something that's not subjective. Me being unfunny, unattractive, that's not a fact. That's subjective. Stop leading with emotion and anger and come with facts. You heard me? DM me for the link to the Spears and Steinberg podcast. And if there's any women out there who want to give me some meow for some of this, uh -uh, now, all of this went down Saturday, but what was very interesting is that on Sunday night was the VMAs and Lizzo ended up winning an MTV Video Music Award. And so when she was on stage, she got up there to accept her, you know, her award. So she went on to thank her fans. But before she got off the stage, she made sure to check all her haters and all her critics. And basically Lizzo went in, she caught them bitches, told them to keep her name out their mouth. She basically pulled a 2022 version of what Nicki Minaj did to Miley Cyrus back in 2015. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And now to the bitches that got something to say about me in the press. You know what? I'm not gonna say nothing. They be like, Lizzo, why don't you clap back? Why don't you clap back? Cause bitch, I'm winning, ho. This bitch is winning, ho! That's what's in the show people, bitch! Now, that wasn't a big enough clap back. She later on took to her Twitter account and she basically wrote this. Keep my name in your mouth cause I know it tastes good bitch okay so Lizzo is not here for the foolishness she's tired of people coming at her you know what I'm saying Lizzo be minding her business for the most part okay and this time she actually was minding her business she wasn't online in lingerie she wasn't twerking she's actually just been laying low you know making good music so for Aries to come at her out the blue like that it's one thing if he doesn't like her music or he's not a fan of hers that's fine but why compare a human being to a shit emoji like I just thought that was very uncalled for especially being that uh I don't know he's not the thinnest crayon in the box either okay I'm just saying. So anyways, y'all, I leave the question to you guys. Let me know your thoughts on this story. How do you guys feel about what Aerie Spears had to say about Lizzo and um, the disrespect that he gave towards her? How do you guys feel about his response to her fans who were clapping back at him? And most importantly, how did you guys feel about Lizzo getting up on stage and basically going in yesterday during the VMAs? Make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed because once again, YouTube loves and subscribing people for my channel i will talk to y'all later deuces if you want the latest news in the streets join us sentiment for the tea breaking news with integrity so sell your friends and your family it's the lovely tv show bringing you good tea and good vibes it's the lovely tv show be sure to share like and subscribe